Hi, welcome to Let's Talk About Business. My name is Nelson Peña from IMC International, partnering with Dukoscopy Swiss Financial TV. Today, I have invited Mrs. Helene Shamalova, who is the CEO of Turquoise Finance. Uh, she's representing a very interesting company, the nice alternative in the real estate finance. Welcome, Helen, to the studio. Who are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> As I told at the very beginning, you are representing to me a very interesting alternative financial solution. It's in French, it's Viagé. I have been trying to find the English translation, but I just give up. It's a kind of live annuality real estate solution. Can you explain more about your company? So the Turquoise Finance is the wealth management company uh, based in Geneva in mm. Switzerland. And uh, since 2005, uh, we are specialized on uh, life annuity real estate, like we uh, uh, are calling that the VAG. And uh, this uh, is a solution which is uh, most uh, uh, known in France mm. and is coming in uh, all European countries. Uh, because uh, since uh, the 2008, the people is looking for the new solutions, new business, new, new ideas. Yeah, when I was thinking about this interview, I did some research and I found even a letter from the Napoleonic times, so the Napoleon uh, 200 years ago or even 250 years ago, uh, effectively explaining about this life entity or viage. How does it work? In a practical way. So, uh, in fact, the VAG is existing already since uh, middle age, <laughs> and uh, oh, the fair, uh, first uh, information about that uh, we can find uh, in Charles de Chauve's uh, time. It's mm. a date from 846. And uh, um, that's uh, the well established schema of uh, life annuity uh, of uh, real estate mm. uh, uh, release. So, uh, the most known type is the VAG occupé. That mm. means uh, that the seller remains in the house and uh, he receives the life annuity, the rent. And uh, we are, like I told, uh, the Swiss based company. And since um, three years ago, uh, the uh, VAG market was inexisting in Switzerland. Yeah. Today, we have a sustained demand about that. And uh, if you would like to understand better how it works, I can give the uh, uh, small example. Please do it, yeah, absolutely. Let's take uh, the real estate uh, house or flat and uh, two people staying inside, so a couple, mm. man and woman, uh, uh, both aged of 75. The market value of, the, of this uh, property is one million. Mm. Uh, based on the life expectancy of the uh, people, we can apply the occupancy discount. In this case, it's making something about 49.2%. Uh, 49 mm. That uh, gi is giving us the occupied value and uh, it is already 492,000 for the 1 million property. Mm -hmm. From this occupied value, we are calculating the lump sum and the rent. The lump sum is going from 0 to 30% at maximum. That means we will pay, let's say, 147,000 uh, on the lump sum maximum. And then the, all the lifelong, we will pay the rents. Uh, in this case, we will pay something about 1,900 lifelong. That means uh, that uh, you are paying less than 20% uh, at the acquisition of the property. And uh, you have the win-win situation because the seller is staying in the house. He uh, increases his revenue uh, due to the lump sum and uh, to the rent. And the buyer hmm. or the investor, they uh, acquire the property uh, for less than 20% the initial payment and with the 100% uh, occupancy rate all the time of the detention of the product. So in some t somehow this has a kind of social, social impact because this is an issue today. A lot of people, are, uh, particularly in Europe, people are getting more aged. Not everybody has the second or third coverage in aspects of financing. 
So it's a very interesting, very interesting. Uh, how do you assess, for instance, the, the value of the real estate? Uh, how do you deal? Because obviously, if I am a business owner, sorry, not a business owner, but a real estate owner, I have an emotional link to my apartment. How do you approach this? How do you assess the value? So uh, the Europe is aging, hmm. and uh, the population the population in Europe uh, is uh, more and more aged, and uh, you have uh, some kind of uh, uh, social uh, so social collapse or problem, yeah. because uh, um, today we have uh, four persons, uh, four working persons for each retired person over 65 years. On uh, 2050, you will have only two persons for each work uh, for, for the retired person. And uh, that means that the retired people, they are more and more uh, advanced in age, life, in life expectancy, but they have less and less revenue because they have heavy uh, expenses, health expenses. And uh, the pension insurances are not able to, to pay so long as that. And in fact, the persons, uh, elder, uh, elderly persons, they would like to stay in their house because it's making already uh, since maybe 50 years that they are inside, but they need to increase the revenue. So it's in fact the social responsible approach because as investor, you are acquiring the property and uh, you allow the seller to stay in home uh, and to increase the revenue. Uh, if we take uh, the example of uh, Switzerland, the, uh, uh, insu the retirement insurance, it was established uh, in uh, 1949. At this time, you had uh, um, the life expectancy less, less than different. 70, yeah, 70, yeah, yeah, 70 yeah. years mm -hmm, old. Yeah. And today you have the life expectancy of 83 years old. And uh, uh, that's making that the uh, uh, insurance company have to pay 15 years plus mm. on the, the rents and the income is less because, as you remember, we have less working people uh, for the retired persons. So uh, if we take the, the example of uh, uh, retirement amounts paid in Switzerland, we have uh, 14,000 francs, Swiss francs uh, to 28,000 Swiss francs. And uh, on the same time, the, the uh, retirement home uh, costs, they are very high. It's no. going from 50,000 to 100,000. And uh, if you take uh, the, the neighbor country, France, you have only in uh, Paris region, two million of retired person, persons. And they have, uh, um, 70% of them, they have uh, uh, 750 euros of revenue. So it's uh, very interesting and uh, uh, having a high, high future idea hmm. because the retired persons, they need uh, the, the new revenue, they need the additional revenue and the pension, ca uh, pay, pension, pension insurance companies, they are going to, to collapse because uh, they have to, to, to pay more than they are receiving. Okay, so I would like to thank you for, for now and we will come back very soon. Thanks a lot, Helen. You're welcome. This was the first part of talking about business related to Viagé or live annuity real estate finance. See you very soon. Bye for now.